Everyone loves a smiling face with sparkling teeth. Our teeth are an important part of our personality. Teeth also give our face its shape and help us speak clearly. We bite into anything we eat, don't we? Our teeth chop, shred and grind food in the mouth so that we can swallow it well. Growth of Teeth A newborn baby has no teeth and has to be fed only milk, soup or juice until it gets its first teeth around the age of 6 to 7 months. By two and a half years, the child has about 20 teeth. These are called milk teeth or temporary teeth. Children start losing their milk teeth around the age of 6 and lose all of them by the time they are 12 years old. These are replaced by the permanent teeth. There are 32 permanent teeth in an adult with 16 teeth in each jaw. Types of teeth The 32 permanent teeth are classified into four types on the basis of their shape, size and functions. Incisors Canines Premolar Molar Incisors There are four incisors in each jaw. Incisors have sharp and straight edge. We use our incisors to bite into and cut the food we eat. Incisors are usually the first teeth that appear at around 6 months of age. Canines Canines are placed, one, on both the sides of the incisors. We have four canines in all, two in each jaw. These teeth, being sharp and pointed, help to tear the food apart. Premolars We have four premolars in each jaw next to the canines. Premolars are largely used for cracking, chewing and grinding food and are therefore broad and flat. Molars We have six molars in each jaw. These are situated next to the premolars. The last molars are also called wisdom teeth. Molars are used for chewing and grinding food. Parts of a tooth A tooth is divided into two parts, the crown and the root. The portion of the tooth that can be seen above the pink gum is called the crown. The crown is the white, visible part of the tooth, whereas the part of the tooth that is inside the gum is called root of the tooth. The tooth is firmly fixed in the gum. There is a hard, white covering of the tooth which protects the tooth from decaying. This is called the enamel and is made up of phosphorus and calcium. The dentine lies below the enamel and inside it lies the pulp. The pulp is soft and has blood vessels that supply nutrition to our teeth. It also has nerves to feel the sensation. This is how we experience toothache. Tooth decay Every time we eat something, small bits of food get stuck between the teeth. If we do not rinse our mouth after eating, these particles attract germs which start feeding on them and also harm the tooth enamel. Slowly, small holes called cavities start forming in the teeth. If not treated in time, these cavities become bigger and start growing deeper into the tooth until they reach the pulp. When this happens, we get a toothache. 
care of teeth look at these pictures and brush your teeth as shown care of teeth is also known as oral hygiene follow these simple oral hygiene habits for strong and long lasting teeth rinse your mouth well after every meal brush your teeth at least twice daily and especially after having eaten something sweet eat calcium rich foods such as milk and milk products do change your toothbrush every month and always use a good quality toothpaste and toothbrush too visit the dentist regularly for checkups microbes microbes micro means very small are extremely tiny living organisms that cannot be seen with the naked eye these can be seen only through a microscope microbes can be both useful and harmful there are four types of microbes protozoa bacteria fungi virus useful microbes many microbes are useful to us yeast a fungus is a very important ingredient in bread and is largely used in bakeries bacteria help in turning milk into curd and cheese some bacteria present in our alimentary canal help in digestion certain vaccines and medicines are developed using some useful microbes mushrooms are a type of edible that is that can be eaten fungi however there are also some types of mushrooms that are poisonous we must therefore be aware of what type of mushrooms we eat harmful microbes some kinds of microbes cause diseases and infections harmful microbes are called germs or pathogens microbes disease or infection caused viruses cause chickenpox common cold influenza that is flu measles polio bacteria cause tuberculosis that is tb food poisoning whooping cough fungi cause athlete's foot thrush ringworm protozoa cause malaria dysentery